Yeah, Michal Olofsky, congratulations for another race win here at the ETS. It's uh, looking like a perfect season opener for yourself. Um, tell us a little bit what happened right, in the guys, race from your perspective, because I think after the start, many cars disappeared from your rear view mirror and you had kind of a lonely race in the end. Yeah, it was good. Um, we're, I was a little bit nervous about the first few corners because Mark has a very risky strategy with uh, the tire prep which probably works very well, but it's, uh, like I said, extremely risky, which we saw now in, in that final. And uh, I was on the phone with, with Mattia and uh, with, uh, you know, talking with Andy today, trying to figure out what's the safest solution for the warm-up, for tire prep, which is so important uh, in, in touring car. And um, you know, all the other guys have a lot of experience where, you know, for us, we've been on the top of touring car for only a year. Uh, fighting with these guys, so uh, we are still learning, but I think we made uh, the right choice. Uh, first corner was a little bit sketchy. Uh, I was, I'm, I'm extremely worried about spinning out at the beginning, and uh, and then um, I don't know what, ex what exactly happened to Mark, but I had really nice traction from from the very beginning. Only the first corner, I tried to be very safe, and uh, as soon as I made uh, the first chicane, then uh, my car has, has been awesome all weekend. It's unbelievable how much corner speed the Schumacher M9 carries, and how easy it is for me to drive. I can just fly through the corners and uh, and make an amazing lap time. So the, the car has been such a, a pleasure to drive all the time. Uh, we worked really hard to, this weekend to to take the best weekend uh, from the car. And I think we did. And uh, we put a lot of effort into it and testing, practice, time of wrenching and uh, preparation. So it's, it's nice to open the season this way. And uh, this year being the world's year, it's always nice to, to have good races with uh, an enduring car and um, every race we're learning something with, with the car, tires, um, just like, you know, racing experience, racing the other guys. Okay, Michal, so well deserved. Congratulations once again. The perfect start into the season. We will see you maybe next time in Eigen for round two. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Okay, after the final A-main of the weekend, Lucas, it's B2 for you in the end. Um, a good result behind a very dominant looking Michal Olofsky, but um, yeah, especially the racing in the, in the third A-main was really great with you and with Akio. Um, you defended really good against Akio and you also helped uh, Mark to step on the podium with this. Yeah, that was actually the plan. I knew um, my result didn't really matter unless I win it because I have only two twos. So uh, the plan was to kind of protect Mark, let him drive away and uh, make sure I can keep my car on the track. I mean, to be honest, I'm happy with how today went because I feel really under the weather today. Like I had a bad night. Um, I feel shivery and a bit of a fever, so flu-like symptoms. So it was hard to focus, low energy. So I was just happy to keep my car on the track. And I benefited from the issues from Mark in A1 and A2, and uh, I gladly take P2. I mean, looking at A2's result, uh, I think Michal, when I finished my main, was already somewhere in Eigen preparing for ETS <laughs> the next one, while I was still finishing the main, so nothing I could have done anyway. So happy with P2. Yeah, man, it was a good start into the season, especially also for the Automatics team with many, many drivers in the A main, also in Pro Stock. So um, it seems that everything works good at the start of the world season. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think? Where, where can you work on the car and on the equipment to close the gap to Olofsky, which is at the moment relatively big? It's maybe kind of a Verstappen situation with the Formula One in the last two years. I mean, you're right regarding the, our campaign with the Somatics, the, the start was really good. Even myself with Orca, um, Akio was competitive. We had no um, electronic issues at all. No batteries are good and uh, it's all going very positive. But yeah, obviously we are looking up to, to, to Mikal. Um, I think that the main advantage that he has is uh, tire management, his car. It doesn't matter if it's hot, cold or whatever. He keeps the tire in the working range. And we are a bit more hit or miss on that, on that aspect. So I guess that's, that's the plan. We're going to work on that. I'm currently having uh, no idea where to start, but uh, there has to, I mean, any problem has a solution, right? So um, it's for sure solvable. We have six months or something until uh, the World Championships, though. Game on. Okay, so yeah, good luck for the preparations in, on the road to the Worlds. And uh, will you attend the race in Eigen? Because last year, I think you missed it. Yes, I missed it last year due to work commitment, but that's things of the past now so uh, no I, I'm gonna be there definitely and uh, looking forward to it actually I loved the track last time so looking forward to get there okay so see you in Eigen congratulations for second place here at the season opener Lucas Urbain from the Automatics team so nice to see you here after the last A main it's a podium in the end a P3 um, which is a very good result when we're looking on A1 and A2 so yeah tell me about your thoughts right now after the race is finished uh, yeah, like you said, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with P3, what's uh, like the come out in the end, so um, 
yeah, after the A1 yesterday where we saw like a big crash and uh, yeah, we watched it many times on videos. It's like it's a race incident. Uh, he tried to close the door, but I was already next to him, so it was just uh, yeah, we both had a shitty, <laughs> shitty result there. So in A2, I tried again because I want to go for the win. I don't want to go for second or third. So I just tried again the same strategy with uh, without a warm-up lap, just keep the tire warmers on as long as possible, put the car stra straight on the grid. But that time my car was super loose, so um, I spun out in the first corner and uh, well, I came back to whatever ninth, and then. Uh, I was like, okay, every every position is important now because I had no result in the first one, so I made my way up uh, to fifth, which uh, still gave me the chance in S3 to make a podium finish overall. So uh, I just had to stay clean, win the last one, and uh, I struggled again on the start. Like Lucas had a nice, he, he backed up a lot because um, my car in the first corner, I don't know, it just had no grip, and it took a while to get traction, but in the end I could just control it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be on P3, better than last year. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, better than last year and uh, also uh, your teammate Lucas, he did a good job in S3 because Akio was really pushing hard and when Akio would have overtaken him, he would have maybe uh, third on the podium, so also good for your team. Um, yeah, last year you won the race in Eigen. Do you think you have a good chance to repeat that? Yeah, I think Olofsky wasn't there last year, but um, I guess we learned a lot this weekend also with the chassis, like the, if the traction is as high as here, we can still go with the Alu chassis, that was the change I did and the car was also a bit better, same as Michael's. So I'm, I think we're not that far off, I mean A2 looked really off, but my car actually A2 when I was almost last, I had a, my car felt really good compared to A3 now. Um, so I'm, I'm, still, I'm still happy and confident and I'm going for it for sure in Eigen. Okay, so see you there, latestly, and that was Mark Reinhardt stepping on the podium beside second place Lucas Urbain and race winner Michalowski.